right, people, welcome back. More by Mui. So, I uh, changed the deck a, a bit again, and uh, like I said, I really wasn't liking the Supply Squad. I still don't really like the Supply Squad Ying Zing. I mean, you want to summon your Ying Zing monsters out of your deck, not draw them. You know, there's not a lot of uh, deck cards outside of the Ying Zings, you know, that you don't want to draw. I mean, I guess the Trap card, yeah, creation, but no. Uh, this hand's actually pretty good, and the reason why it's pretty good is because I actually went back to the card that I didn't want to go back to, but. He also the consistency, I you know the Yangzing monster, he has six hit and attack and you know what, that's the best I'm gonna get out of them as a beater right now. You know, I'm sitting around Swanee, I'm like, wow Swanee, you are you're beating down, but you you know, you other two, you know, uh Jiao Tu and Bixie, you ain't doing shit, but you know, I don't have any other beaters. Fine. Welcome to the group, Bixie. I don't like your synchro effect. I, and I was like, Oh, the synchro monster can't be destroyed without it. Like, eh. eh. <laughs> you know. That's not really what I'm worried about when it comes to my synchro monster. If it was like, oh, you know, it's unaffected by my opponent's monster effects, and yeah, let's go. But, you know, if that's all you're going to do is just be, you know, not destroyed by that, my opponent, not destroyed by battle when you're, you know, a pretty, probably a pretty beefy synchro monster. Nah. You're probably just going to get one on one cast out anyway, so. Uh, I guess that's the reason why you. That's a, Maybe that's the reason why they made G. Uh, not GR2. Uh. Yazi, and they're like, well, it can't be targeted, and then it can't be sure of a battle, you know? Even though Yazi is like a 26 beater, and you know, I'm, I mean, I'm happy enough for that. So, yeah. <sighs> they still have to worry about getting Exitomed. Because he is definitely up on resources. Ooh, alright, well, <clears throat> Synchro time. So, let's see what I can do. So... I have two creations, which will, of course will summon me two monsters, and of course Beyond will summon me two monsters. Creation's like the best, like, love creation. I guess that's the reason why you go ahead and play, um, um, oh my god, what's the name of that card? I forgot the name of that card already. That's how unimportant it is in this deck. Uh, I forgot the name of it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh, okay. Yep. So I don't like I don't like Photon Lead. I think it's kind of a weird card it's because it's like like you're summoning these slime monsters. Aren't they both tuners? Um, those are both tuners. You can't sync with two tuners. Those are both tuners. One has to be a non-tuner. You know, it's good. Okay. Okay. That's it. If you want to summon him, I don't even know why you're turning to the hand. They still should be on the field. No, don't go back that far. No, no, not back that far. That far. Shit. No, no, no. You already summoned. Already summoned. Put the monsters back on the board. Not that far. Holy shit. This nigga went all the way back. Like, no, 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 no. When two monsters, that, and some, and the photon lead. And the photon lead. You already, you already, those plays already solved. Yeah, those plays already solved. There you go. Sync for seven. That's fine. Damn, that man wanted to take it all the way back. He's like, you can back, bring it back, cruiser. That's right, you can summon that. This card in case of best submission during your end page, you can add one. Hey, and if you want to, you can go ahead and sync these two into a, a Star Eater. See? Your play's not terrible, because this is also still a tuner. Yeah. You can go into Star Eater. This card seems kind of slow, but... I guess if it survives safe upon the field, then it's not terrible. It's kind of slow. I don't like cards that generally say, you know, during your end phase, get something. Because just like, sorry, my end phase, I'm done with my turn, so I can't use this card till next turn, you know? Well, I'm not a big fan of shit that says during your end phase. 
So he probably could have used that equip card to, you know, do something right now, but instead, it's just turning the end phase. Like, okay. He didn't even attack anyway. All right, guess I'm going to get my wish and go ahead and start going aggressive with the end. What's up, monster? Equip monster attacks your opponent can activate spell trap until the end of the damage trap if this. Okay, this face up card on the field and sent to the graveyard. You can add another one. Okay. So I'll just, I'll just activate that at start of uh, battle phase. Yeah, I mean, Beyond is putting in that work right now because the majority of the other monsters. The majority of this deck is monsters. Yeah. I said it's it's like the skeleton of Yings and decked a little bit of the U Bell shit in there, so it's fine. I don't care. Oh, go ahead. So you're gonna go to attack mode and come after me? And you attack, you'll go up to a 27 beater because you're a uh, prison. So, seems like a chill idea to me. Just, I'm still gonna get these. Alright, you're gonna unequip. At start of battle phase. You're at the end of the dam you're at the damage step, you're at the damage step, you're at the damage step, so just activate, not activate the effects of just activate, so The, the quit monster destroys when a bad battle you could target one card your opponent controls is try that target. Okay. Alright, start of uh, battle phase. So you attack. I will take eleven. And what do you go off? Well, if the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster battle, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Alright. Well, I am gonna go Beyond Effect and Double Creation Effect. Creation Effect. Response. Is it optional? You can target one card your opponent controls. So, this is, this is the part where you will destroy one card I control. get one of the effects. Okay. Yep, so I'm gonna get one. Because that card of course being a continuous trap card has to remain on the field to resolve the effect, so I don't know what I want to do right now though. See, because I was hoping the whole creation the beyond thing. I mean I guess I can bring the beyond back with Oasis, but what can I make? You know, what can I make? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wow! I, you know who I wish I put? I took actually took out of the deck. I took out Chao Fang. It's like, oh, I can't make him. Like, yeah, now I can. Now since I have Beyond, yes, I can. I can make Miss Swarm though. Is Miss Swarm in here? Is Miss Swarm even in here? No, it's not. Who the fuck is my nine? I don't have any nines. Eight, eight, eight. 11, uh, 10, 7, 7, 7, 6, wow, I don't have any nines. Okay, so, that's bad. So, I can go summon you, summon you, call haunted summon you. 
you'll be at 27 that can't be just, yeah that sounds like a fun idea yep so I'll go ahead and summon has to be in the position that's attack mode so it has to be in attack mode and defense mode And then I'll just go ahead and activate Oasis, summon back Beyond and sink 7 into uh, Yazi, who won't be able to be destroyed by battle. Not really. I uh, could Black Rose, but it's not really worth it. Oh, okay. Well, I had to summon a tank position. I have a choice, so. You know what? This is a better play. It's totally a better play. I will take that. Now I got you in the graveyard, and now I can go ahead and summon uh, Sua. I think I did that wrong. I think I was supposed to summon in defense position, but it's okay. Is it more? Yeah, it's in defense position. Oops. Oh well. I'll just say I summoned you off of that and you off of that, because it really doesn't matter. I really want to. That baiting out that play was actually better than I thought it was going to be. So when I bounce you, you're literally going to just detach everything. What do you say? If this has some card or something from the bit, or you can add one of them, I bounce you. I bounce you, you and you. You are going to be gone. You are going to be gone. You guys don't do anything, so. So, I'm going to be totally fine. You, you, you. You go to, go ahead and synchro shotgun into Baxia. Perfect. I want you, you, and you gone. So your violins are cute, but you're overextended and I'm um, getting upper hand with the power of my Baxia. You didn't add with your Bylon Delta. You too. I want you gone and you unequipped. Oh, and at that point, I mean, I don't really see how you're going to come back. <laughs> Are you three? I get three spins. Get the fuck off my field! You can say anything about you not being able to be targeted. Either of these two are gonna help you. You're back to extra deck, and you guys go to the graveyard. Here we'll have exactly nothing left. Maybe I'll creation. Yeah, I guess I can go ahead. I mean, creation, I mean, path. This man takes one. Path. I'll go ahead and put. I'll probably leave you. Yeah. Too bad. No, I want to leave Sawani. Just in case, uh. My dad doesn't think anything, bad, anything bad's really gonna happen right now. But if I get like Mask Million, which I did. <laughs> which I did, so. That's, bam, just that, summon that, XE or Synchro. Uh, so, so, fat, so, fat, so, that is 2800. Alright, well, I have not normal summoned this turn, so I can actually summon uh, Giao Tu and use back the effect, target Giao Tu, target Suwani, switch them, uh, Giao Tu effect, creation effect, summon, summon, and yeah, I can go ahead and sync again. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and summon. Um, back to your second effect. Uh, target. Uh, Gia and Sua. I've not used our effects this turn. So, go ahead and switch you out for you. Gia effect. Sua effect. So, the cool thing is that I guess I can summon. Uh, Yes, I can summon 
Oh my god, what's the name of that fucking card? Oh my god, I can't the love me. I cannot remember the name of that card. Chao Feng, but it won't be unaffected by trap cards. It just won't be able to be destroyed that battle with a thing's like a fucking monster, so once again, I'm not a big fan of you at all. The effect is this not a big fan of uh you know. Anakon does not want to scoop it up. Let's continue fighting. That's a shocker. At this point, it's pretty much game. Not even top decking or Geki will save you, so. You don't have enough life points to play Soul Charge, yeah. That's it. Uh, we have enough time for. We don't, but. Uh, I guess I can attempt to get one more duel in here. Yeah. So, I can make Chow Thing. Awesome. Just. It's not using the precious Bixie, and you guys know how much I love Bixie. Bixie is awesome. I love being unaffected by trap cards. <laughs> trap cards are like the bane of my Yu-Gi-Oh existence, so being unaffected by trap cards just puts a smile on my face. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything this turn. I might use G the next turn, though. Starting to up with this man, I drew you bell, which means that it's stuck in my hand, because I don't run Dark Reffer in this deck. I, I I try to number generalize it and run like the one dark grapher for the uh the normal summon gear. The I mean not the one Armageddon Knight with the one Rodas and the one U Bell, you know, I don't have a lot of darks and that size gear that I wanna go ahead and pitch a dark grapher, but once you that's the problem with the deck. Once you bell gets in here it's stuck. It is fucking she is fucking goddamn stuck in my hand. There is there's no if and buts about it, U Bell is stuck, so you know, unless I unless he plays something to make me discard or I draw over, you know, six cards stuck and I seriously doubt I will, so uh just like last duel there will probably be no you know in this duel. So it's not very often we get to go ahead and use GS first effect, but we will go ahead and do it. So some you and some you. Wait for my opponent to respond. Something. Alright. Sink eight. We're gonna go into Baxia. And spin those three cards. See your effect. No, no, this effect. This effect. This effect. First time I'm joining. That effect. That effect. That's the effect that I'm doing. I have yeah, the control. No other monsters. I have two Yang Zeng cards. Card, so it could have been path, but I'd rather hold on to that. Send the extra G the G G Yeah, okay. That's the effect. Turn your deal. Yeah, to the milk. He's like, whatever. Like, I don't know why you're getting mad at me. That's just what fucking, fucking Giatsu says. Like, I'm just playing the game here. I'm just playing what fucking the cards that Konami made, so they'll get mad at me, sir. So just put your fucking field, all three cards, back in the deck. Put it back in the deck. Back, unless you have Solemn Warning. If you have Solemn Warning, then, hey, I'm never summoned, so it's here. But if you don't, then, uh, yeah, back to the deck. Back to the deck. Back to the deck. I'm just gonna sit here. Dude, how many times do I have to fucking copy and shit? And shuffle them into the deck. First effect of Baxia. It doesn't say that! Where, what are you reading? It's the first fucking effect of Baxia! The first one! Back to the deck. 
Wow, he actually runs the fucking Red Eyes Black check. The card that you shouldn't run because for some reason, I think it's like a different name in the OCG, so they're like, nah, nah, nah. So, effect, backs you up, is 2800. Attack. I'm gonna go ahead and return some. Using path. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Return, return you, you, and you. I'll keep one of you in the grave. Attack for 28. Oh my god! Sua effect. Stop arguing with me! Oh my god. Holy shit. Yes. No, no, because keep arguing. Holy shit. Every time I do something, it doesn't do that. It's right here. Oh, it doesn't do that. It's right here. Like, God. Holy shit. Every single time I do something, which is correct, you just keep arguing. Okay. Getting all these dark holes, not gonna get much use out of them though. <laughs> I'm not planning on dark holing myself right now. I'm just wondering if he's running a red eyes deck and if he's just gonna go ahead and go red eyes fusion. But if he had red eyes fusion, he'd play last turn unless he top decked it this turn. Hmm. Might just go ahead and go. Let me reverse. Oh, I returned a fucking. I returned the wrong shit. Yep. I did. I was supposed to keep, uh,. When you in the graveyard, I was supposed to keep swanning the graveyard, not return it. Oh well, I I can go. Yeah, yeah. Does it have to be a different Yang Zing monster? Once per turn, you could target one card you control in one level four or lower. Oh, just card you control. So I can destroy it. In one level four, Lord Mashi of Graveyard, destroy that target on the field. And if you do special summon the other from your graveyard. Oh, okay. Uh, not really planning on overextending this turn because I might use this card with this card. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and attack. I'm now I'm totally well. I always regret it. Said being back so funny, but yeah, now I'm totally regretting it because I I would like another beater. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate number reverse, and turn back Gia. I'm gonna go back the effect target target Gia and Gia. It doesn't matter, it doesn't specify, it doesn't say it has to be a different one. So I'll go ahead and destroy Gia. Summon Gia. Gia effect. I'll go ahead and summon. Uh, is it an attack position or defense position? I think it's an attack position. Yeah, it's whatever your uh, the difference is. And then. Um, I didn't think this out really well. I really didn't. On paper, it seemed like a fine idea. I mean, I guess I can go in these two into a Goyo Guardian and those two into, like, a Beals. Yeah. Yeah, you two can go into Gar Goyo Guardian, activate a Wait to Summon Max Down too, and then go into Beals. Yeah. And then. Well, Goyo Guardian needs to just be stronger in general. Yeah. Let's go ahead and suppress something. Yeah, so uh, that is 3300. So hopefully you have like a mirror force or something. Which in case if you do, Baxi is gonna live. But hopefully you got some kind of battle trap. Not that's it. 
Fucking boy of is a monster. All right, stop arguing with me. All right, so apologize, people. No, you've been laxing in this video. That's another one of the reasons why I wanted to take the tech off because you know the other decks I can kind of incorporate Ebell somehow, but this one I'm literally just shamming it in there. Like, yeah, get in there, you bell. Like, eh, when you bell, one of you bell, uh, Armageddon Knight, mm, wrote up. Just get get in there. Get in the freaking Yang Zing deck. Like, that's literally what I'm doing, so, uh, I said, I don't know when I'm gonna work on an easy belt, just because I have a ton of live videos from, uh, I think I've got, like, two more live videos from, uh, from Utah Regionals, and I want to go ahead and get those out of the way before I forget about them, which means that I'm not doing webcam duels at the current moment, which means that I'm not testing out Ryan's belt, even though I've, I've been working on it, but, you know, of course, I can't work on a deck without testing it. But uh, I, do, I feel like Red Icy Bell has a little bit more synergy than this deck because this deck, I mean, Red Icy Bell, they're all dark, so ton of dark breath for synergy. Uh, you know, it has that Summon Skull in there, so you can go Doom Shaman Summon Skull, XC, and, you know, because you can summon anything. Um, the Red Eyes XC can't be destroyed by card effects, so Terror can wipe and won't be destroyed. Uh, we just have some interesting plays there, definitely have some interesting plays there. Uh, I, I have like the kinky bio that can summon back and you know I can poke and then uh, you know wipe and banish there's just, there's just, there's just on paper there's just a ton of fucking plays in the deck has synergy but it, it seems like whenever I play it just seems really cloggy and inconsistent like I said it, I only played it on Dev Pro you know maybe DN will be a little bit nicer to me you know Kirito SAO oh I, I actually finished I I, I was watching so I don't like two, and that episode where they did the house, I, I literally dropped it. I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. I was like, wow, this is stupid. And then, of course, there's more after that, the, the Sleeping Night Art. So I was like, fine, I'll finish watching Sora Art, just like I finished watching Sora. So I finished it, and so I watched Sleeping Night Art. Still not as good as the first season, uh, as the first arc. All right, I'm done talking about uh, SAO. Anyway, uh, I will get to... Testing it. And I mean, the funny thing is for Red Eyes Bell, I'm like so confident that I'm gonna make that is that I actually the, the thumbnail for it's already made for Vitamin Y. I, I am confident that that deck will work because it just has synergy. So hopefully I don't look terrible. You know, it does run like the triple Grefren, the triple Armageddon, not the triple Rudder. And it, I think it does have enough spells that I am running the summer mode too. So please, I, I'm trying to work with the consistency. Um, I cut down the summon skulls, I cut down the red eyes. Uh, I'm just trying to. You know, cut it down and make it work because God, I just want that deck to work. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with, of course, Super Vicey Bell. All right, people, thanks for watching.